Hi Kiva, how you doing today? Bringing um, you more comic reviews, and let me just get started. I'm uh, digging some stuff here, so can't wait to get talking. Uh, first off is <sighs> Final Crisis, number six. This is the issue where Batman's fate has finally revealed. So, what, is R.I.P. bullshit? Is, is that what you're doing, Brandon? Is that what, is that, is that what you're doing to me? What, what are you doing to me? I don't, I don't Anyway, Grant Morrison and G.E. Uh, excuse me, I'm never going to get his name right, J.G. Jones are uh, hard at work here. I mean, pulling some great stuff together. Uh, we're, we are building up to the big crescendo at the end. Superman's uh, getting a tour of, what is this thing called? The Miracle Machine, uh, which is supposed to be uh, probably a big key to uh, solving a big problem. Uh, Earth is conquered by uh, Darkseid. And everybody's still fighting out. Wonder Woman's still uh, brainwashed. And actually, so is Mary Marvel, at least in this issue. And we see a big fight of the Tiger Men. Hey, did you forget? There's Tiger Guys in uh, the DC Universe. And uh, Captain Marvel's kooky tiger person sidekick in, you know, the green tuck, the suit and the red bow tie. Um, he rips the shit out of a guy. It's really, it's really kind of interesting. I've never thought of him as a scary character, but he, uh, he takes, uh, he takes another guy on. Uh, yeah, the art and the battle scenes are really well done. Actually, you know what, compared to, um, Final Crisis, uh, I'm liking the fights and battles in this book better than, um, than, uh, find, uh, what, what was that called? Secret Invasion. Um, uh, I think, uh, Grant Morrison just really writes terrific uh, battle scenes, even though everything is like chopped up. I mean, it's almost like uh, cliff notes uh, of what's going on. I mean, you get quick glimpses. Here's Hawkman and Hawkgirl. Where are we? We're trapped in another dimension! I don't know where we are! <laughs> but we're talking about stuff. It, it just keeps on and on. It, Graham Morrison has no patience for you. you got to keep up with him. He does not give a shit. Uh, oh, and I'm completely missing... Uh, the fact that this is the issue Batman dies, and uh, I'm sorry to be giving away a spoiler here, but I mean, it can't be met. He is in a sh old fashioned Texas Western shootout with uh, Darkseid, uh, where presumably uh, they are both killed. Uh, but uh, yeah, here's Batman getting the worst of it from uh, his I beams. Unfortunately, I don't believe he's dead because I read comic books. Even though we're seeing his smoking corpse right here being held by Superman. You know what? This would ordinarily bring me to tears because I'm a huge Bat fan and you know, I've been following him all my life. So I was not, I don't know, I wasn't really moved by this. Although it wasn't written in a way to make me sad. Um, it's almost written as, uh, as to have me go, wow, look at him holding his dead body. By the way, great scene right here with uh, Superman just tearing the shit out of everything. Uh, really great, really exciting. Um, although I just don't know... Oof, man, I just don't know what, 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 what's in store next. And that's usually how Grant Morrison likes it. There's also a uh, preview of the quest for the cow, cowl with uh, this sort of poster. I've got Harley Quinn. I, I'm hoping that maybe she'll be filling in for Joker for a little while as the clown crazy nemesis. And this is obviously Tim Drake. Uh, this has got to be Dick Grayson. Uh, I don't know who this is. At first I thought it was the Batman of Zerithra, but you know, it might be Two-Face. Uh, then of course we got Batwoman and uh, Damien. I don't know who Mr. Guns is here. Uh, and there's been speculation that this isn't really Bruce Wayne, that's that Dick Hush. Uh, so, who knows. Oh, boy. I hope they got that uh, review all set up here as quickly as I could. Uh, this is uh, five RAM chips. Uh, it's a must. Batman Cacophony. Uh, Kevin Smith, hey, he's got another issue out. It came out, like, on time. Amazing. Because ordinarily, Kevin Smith is late more often than a South American prostitute. Let's just be honest. And... Um, it's good. He turned out the works, and uh, yeah, Joker is just tearing, tearing the whole. Now this, is, of course, not separate to any of this stuff. So we're just getting 
Batman and Joker and Anamonopia, who is crazy. Uh, yeah, I just didn't enjoy quite a bit of it. You know, Maxi Zeus is a horrible character. Let's just be honest. There's no making him cool, but there's you can make fun of him. And uh, the the scene with the henchman is hilarious. I think that's very well done. The artwork by Walt Flanagan is just terrific. He's got a kind of uh, creepy, cartoony kind of style that he, he puts through here, and uh, yeah, I like it. There's also, of course, continuity with uh, what he did in uh, the Green Arrow books and stuff like that. Uh, all in all, I like it. It's uh, four RAM chips so far. Uh, it's not bad. If you want to read a Batman Joker story that has nothing to do with R.I.P. or Final Crisis or anything like that, this is pretty good so far. Uh, four RAM chips. And Lady Bullseye over here in Daredevil, uh, 111, 112, and 113. This is the first three parts of the story. And at first I wasn't sure about, you know, getting a Lady Bullseye character, uh, but uh, she's actually terrific. Uh, she was a, uh, I think, part of the sex slave trade when, uh, when Bullseye, like, crashed the party of these uh, criminals running it and just killed them left and right, and she was able to get free uh, during the carnage and uh, pretty much took taken up his uh, moniker, uh, sort of tribute. And she's pretty deadly and pretty dangerous. This is Ed Baker and Clay Mann as the penciler, by the way. Uh, and they turn out some really good stuff. And um, meanwhile, uh, Matt Murdock is still trying to figure out how to sort his life together. He, his wife is still in the mental institution, and he stupidly hooks up with his, uh, I mean, this guy, I don't know, he stu stupidly hooks up with his uh, private, uh, private investigator, Dakota North, who, by the way, isn't really being that clever either. I mean, let's face it, sleeping with Matt Murdock is not a good idea. Um, we're at three minutes? Okay. We may have to do uh, more videos. But uh, this is a pretty good work. I love the new character. Uh, I think she's really smart and dangerous, and I think she is really tearing Matt Murdock a new asshole at the time where he really doesn't need it. He's got his own big problems going on. Uh, it's uh, issues 111, 112, and 113. I haven't read 114 yet, so uh, I'm, but I'm sure it's just as good. Uh, I give this whole storyline uh, five ram chips. I'm really liking it. And uh, let's see, I'm going to do a two-parter to this one. So I'm going to cut it right here, and uh, we'll just uh, continue on with uh, the last uh, three comics and also a uh, subscriber question.